bonus game. Let's see what we can do. And after the bonus, I'll give you my final thoughts of the game. Oh, and this one, the hints unlocked. But I recommend doing easy, hard, then the bonus game. Okay. And what we got here is very beautiful, but why does this one have a snowflake? Hmm. Well, let's do this fog area first. A sewing kit. Now, I will admit, this one's actually more harder. The bonus game uh, HOP sections, they're a little bit harder. And looking for us, we got the hint. Let's see, where is that last piece? Ah, there it is. I'm guessing that's the statue of Snow White and the Prince. And up there we had to get that key down. Let's see. To unlock this puzzle, you have to collect the right ones. And some might have more than one answer. So be careful what to click. So, let's start with... Let's see. Start with an owl. Let's see. Weasel. Bird. Bat. Fish, crab, spider, and monkey. That's the proper way. Sometimes you can hit diff you can hit this one for the ocean and the seashell, but best at doing it this combination better. And here we got a picture of Snow White and the Prince, I guess, in the royal garb. Well, that one's not frozen. This one is. Huh. Let's see what this puzzle will give us. Let's see. It's probably we can kind of guess of the first two. So, knight. Farmer. Oh, good. The next are these. Let's see. We unlocked it, but we're still a piece short. Well, put the chain there anyway. Chisel and a hammer. Yeah, like I said, this one's more hard than the other HOP sections. Oh, 
Oh, and FYI, the Buddha key does not have morphing curse, cursed objects. It's only in the main game. Let's see. Well, that's why we need it. Let's see. The tomb of his queen, given the location, this is the rest area belongs to Snow White's mother. The evil one or the good one? Heh. <laughs> depending on the story, it can go either way. In fact, there was one Snow White story where then it had seven dwarves, it had seven knights. I think that was the Russian tale of Snow White. Let's see. Huh. The ice is gone. Oops. Painting of an elder woman. She's holding a red apple and is joined by a ghostly skeleton figure. I guess that's the evil queen's witch form? And I can only make out the title of the paper. Details permitted the death of the godmother. Judging from this, which godmother? It written by the snow queen. Well, that's gone. Now we got the key. And another HLP section. I can tell you this one is actually a bit harder than the main game. You can't really find things in flowers. A diary key. Let's see. Well, apparently this is Snow White's room. You can tell that there's a portrait. Let's see now. I guess that means Snow White is alive. So we gotta write the portrait and the left off of this. And we're gonna need something to unlock that. Hmm. Another one. And this is a square emblem, which is probably where the snowflakes go. What's behind this shed? Just that? 
I guess it's just a storage shed. Heart locket. You look through here, bottom of, your bottom of the screen right here. That's, I guess, either the picture of the stepmother or her real mother. Like I said, some Snow White shows it's not the stepmother that was the enemy, it was her birth mother. But like I said, it depends on which one you're reading. There's more than one. But it's most commonly the stepmother. There we go. Let's go back to her room and do this one. I'm guessing this there is not really a shrine, it's just a bedroom. Because in the old royals, they wouldn't share the same bed, they would go to the different chambers. I'm guessing this is hers. Let's see now. Hard locket. Diary key. A letter written by Snow White for the prince. It looks like she's leaving him, but the reason is unrevealed. Let's see what this mirror shard will show us. Yeah, we could definitely say Snow White is a snow queen. And she is definitely alive if she can send snow like that at me. So now I know, Snow White turned to Elsa from Frozen. But I, don't, I think this uh, Snow Queen is what Disney was trying to attend years back as a villain. I wonder if her turning to the Snow Queen has to do with her stepmother. I would not be surprised if it does. And it's spread. All the way up to there. You think maybe we hit a spirit of the Snow Queen? Hmm. We'll find out soon. portal. So that's what it activated. It got a portal. Hmm. I just get through it. Burning torch. Let's see. I always get mixed up on this one. Okay, does not go there. Does not go there. Let's see. Nope. This is the one I always mess up at. Magic one goes there. Then the pickaxe, and then the compass. You stepped into the portal and arrived near the Snowfall Kingdom. With a map in your hand, your next investigation awaits in DP3. Bonus content is now unlocked. Well, that's the bonus game. Now let's see what we got here. Well, now it's over. We got now wallpapers. Very beautiful. We have music from Exile Prince, Shroud and Darkness, Immortal Desire, all the way down to Forgotten Tales, which is probably the music for the bonus. Here we have concept art. Now everything went down. 
I can see that these guys take a lot of time to make sure they get this right. They weren't fooling. We have also bonus puzzles you can use with a difficulty rating from 4 star to 5. Which is kind of easy if you know how to do them. And the movie gallery. Let's see. Now, in the movie gallery, there's actually two intros which they should have used but didn't. Let's see if we can find them. They're not really picture labeled. Nope. Not that one. Here we go. Nope. That's trailer. Okay. Here we go. Once upon a time, many years ago, a princess by a countryside passed by a nearby pond and saw a frog. The creature leaped towards the sorrow princess, looked in her eyes and croaked, Kiss me, dear princess, and you shall undo my century-old curse. The curious to be approached by the talking frog, he, the princess kissed him, transformed into a handsome prince. The two began courting and now much longer wedded. But unlike the past down fairy tale, it never ended happily ever after. 800 years later, in Ireland, not Germany. Right around here is where the Chancellor's daughter and the bodyguard went down the road. And sorry, there's no sound. This is just sketches and text. I wish there was sound of me reading it out loud, but I don't know how to read fast. And that was intro 1. Let's see what intro 2 has. Well, the original Dark Parable uh, label. Same animation as the uh, beginning. And then the forest is known as the Stone Frog Road. Legends say during a clearing night like this, the Frog Prince is said wandering down this path. Well, no one who's ever saw has come out to tell the tale. Oh, and they named her Madeline. I actually gave her a name in this one. In this one, I actually get frog hands, not a frog. I mean, no, just plain human hands. I wish we get a gun. Yeah. Put down in the comments. Which intro do you like? The original or the two? Well, now to my final thought of the game. And this one's actually pretty interesting. Visual. Big improvement in drawing. Mood. Luscious and gorgeous all around. Music. More mysterious than the first one. Voice acting. Big improvement and a lot more than just the one person or two. Story, very well organized, especially with the twists and turns of his five wives. Big improvement. Frogs and puzzles, well, the marbles are gone and the frogs are not really that different for the hidden object areas. Replay value, unlike the Snow White where you can play hard mode over and over, you have to keep on citing in your name to play easy, hard, then the bonus. Bonus game, how can I say it? Actually, Gives a good reason who that woman was and how Snow White turned into the Snow Queen. Or we shall find out number three. Well, overall, I'm giving this game an A. This is a great game to continue the story. Now stay tuned because we're not going to do DP3. We're going to take a detour. See you soon, guys.